No, we're just saying the worst sushi in Japan is the best sushi in Poland. Yeah, perhaps. Some more variety in Japan. Yes, a lot. Very tasty. Hey guys and girls, it's Cat the Cat on Ash Japanese. This time we went on the streets of Tokyo to ask the foreigners who have come here to compare Japanese food that they've tried in their country to Japanese food that they're trying here in Japan. What are the differences? How does it taste? Let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. Have you, back in Poland, have you tried Japanese food in Poland? Uh, yes, we've tried sushi. Um, <laughs> but very different. Comparing sushi in Poland and sushi here in Japan, mm -hmm. is it the same or is it different? Yes or no? Yeah. You can make it big. It's uh, a, a, <laughs> a really big one. Yes. yes. We've heard that uh, the worst sushi in uh, Japan will be like the best sushi in, our, in other countries. Mm -hmm. So probably it's yes, because it was delicious. Yeah, it wasn't very expensive actually, and it was delicious. Yeah. Right, so the worst sushi in Poland is... No, we're just saying the worst sushi in Japan is the best sushi in Poland. Yeah, yeah perhaps <laughs> it's, it could be true. And uh, what, what, what is the difference? How, how, does it, how different does it taste? It's just it's just... It's just better. It's just, just tastier. Yeah, yeah, it's filling. It's, you know, it's, it's real. Yeah. yeah, it feels fresh, you know. We don't live at sea at our <laughs> homeland, so I think here we have uh, fresh fish and things like that, so better. So, on that note, how's the price wise? How's the difference between the, the sushi in Poland and here? Uh, actually, well, kind of similar. Yeah. Similar. Same price. Same price, yeah. yeah. We were expecting m more expensive. Uh, but it's, it was okay. Yeah, same yeah. price, different quality. Yeah. So comparing the food you had back in Rwanda to the food you've had here in Japan, is Japanese food different or does it taste pretty much the same? <laughs> I was just telling him how much the food is crazy. It's really good. The beef that you have is just... I don't think I've ever seen that in the world. Right, you mean like the um, the like Japanese style wa wagyu uh, wa beef? Exactly, yeah, that's just wow. wow. The A5. Can you explain like what makes Wagyu, wagyu so tasty? Um, I don't know, the fact that the meat is so tender, you know, it melts in your mouth, the aromas really come out, so... And I'm from a place where we love meat, so for me to actually figure out as a country with better meat, that's quite surprising, I think. <laughs> yeah, I heard like they massage the cows and all kinds of things to get it. I believe it. It's so tender that I was just shocked. I was like... How do they actually, you know, get this animal down? <laughs> it's like they make a deal with the animal. It's like yeah. <laughs> make a deal with the animal. Yep, and then it lets itself go. Uh, tell me what's uh, what's like your what's very different. The ramen noodles is different the flavor here than Mexico. In Mexico, there are little restaurants for ramen, but we have a lot of restaurants for sushi. Mm -hmm. But it's different. I don't know. Maybe because we are in the in the country of the, the 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 food, the real food of Japanese. I don't know. I'm I don't know in, in Paris, but for me, yes, it's different. Okay, compared to Mexico City, very different. How about you? Uh, I think in Paris you have some options. You can find ramen. It's not so difficult, but you don't have so many variations. Here you have many. It's incredible. I mean, you think that you are going to have the same one, but at the end, it's not the same. Like there is always something tasty, spicy, different, so I really like it. And it's not only about ramen, you have here sushi, sashimi, ramen, like many kinds of, uh, of the real Japanese uh, cuisine, so it's amazing. So more variety in Japan? Yes, a lot. Also, like, uh, like you said, more variety is also, for example, if you had like ramen back in Paris and if you have ramen back here, can you see uh, another difference? Uh, besides ramen, I think, for example, when you ask for a miso soup, here they place like a small, um, I forgot the name of, it's like a shell, like very pit, small shells inside. Mm -hmm. You don't have that in Mexico City or in, in Paris. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the preparation of the omelette, the Japanese omelette, that's also very nice. And the bakery is also awesome. The, the quality of bakery, Japanese bakery is incredible. And I, yeah. What's good? Because like, I, I'm surprised now because you know France, Paris is the land of pastry baking. When you say uh, Japanese bakeries are very good, now you need to tell me more about that. Uh, if you feel the quality of the actually when you are eating, 
I, I guess there is something on the floor on, on the floor that is used for co cooking, but there is there is something very soft. It's like don't laugh at me, but it's like biting like clouds. It's like ah. it's very soft and it's really nice. I, I prefer here the bakery cookies and matcha cakes. Also, that's amazing. Right, that's true. Like many things are much more fluffy, right? Yeah. Kind of fluffy and soft it's and. Tasty. Tasty. Fluffy and tasty. Sometimes you can find a bread fluffy, but more like plastic. When when you buy a very cheap one, there is no taste. But here, wow! Like most, of, like the Japanese quality is very high. So there is pork buns and there is ramens are different here. How? They're not well. They're puffy back home, but they're not steamed, mm -hmm. and they're not like the meat's not completely in the bun. So more like a sandwich. Right, like, like sandwiched into the kind of yeah. bun material? Yeah. Uh, ramen, um, yeah, there's a few extra elements than what's back at home. Like, um, I think I found a boiled egg today yeah. in mine. Different from back home. Um, uh, the, the soup as well is slightly has more flavors to it. But yeah, that, that's probably the only sort of major comparison. Oh, and I had a cold ramen as well. That was a different. Right. Different. Don't have them back home? No, no, it's always been hot. But yeah, I've had a cold one as well. And it was it's an experience, so yeah. Okay, what do you prefer? Back home the Japanese style food or here Japanese style food? I prefer the pork buns back home. Oh, okay, that's that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Why so? They're just really yummy. Yep. How about you? Uh, I probably prefer the food here. Alright, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, yeah, just more flavours and such. The Japanese food that you experience at home, which is like just the sushi kind of, like the basic thing, is it very different to the food that you tried, the ramen and such? I think so, but I think they're trying to be more Japanese in the food we they have in Denmark, calling it Japanese. So I think we it's do a have shift a ramen now. restaurants, but we just haven't been there yet. Yeah. Right. So do you think like the food here is like they try less to be Japanesey kind of thing? You know, they try less to tailor it for the tourists, but more to just normal people. Not where we just came from. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, that was very local, yeah. <laughs> we, we had no idea what to order. And there was uh, this machine you had to plug in. And we didn't understand what all this stuff was. So we gave up and we went to another place with a real menu card. Oh, right. You couldn't understand the machines for no, like all the And we were it. like making a line behind <laughs> us because we were so indecisive. But yeah. No, did the, the staff not come and try and help you out? I, it was very local, I think. Like, yeah. yeah. And it was busy. It was lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. Rush hour. Right. But well, you found one with the menu in English? Yeah. yeah. No, yes. Not in, was it in English? Yes, it had English subtitles. But it had images. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that helped you guys. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, we're good. Thank you so much. Those were all the questions. Thank I must say, when I lived in the UK and I was craving Japanese food and I didn't have a Japanese restaurant close, I actually had to resort to buying it and making it myself. However, I went to a bigger city, I went over to Birmingham and there there was a restaurant called Wagamama which did Japanese ramen noodle soup. So I thought, but it's kind of more their own recipe and it's not actually that close to Japanese ramen soup which surprised me because I thought it would be the the flavor was a lot uh, more watered down like a bit more subtle maybe it's to accompany subtle flavors that people are used to I don't know but it wasn't what I was expecting because before that I'd already lived in Japan so that surprised me a little bit but it wasn't bad it was just not what I had expected so Japanese fast food might taste very, very different depending on which country you're actually from and what actually your country's tastes are because foods from other countries generally get a little bit adapted to the local food flavors and tastes. So how about you? Japanese food in your country? Is it the same or not? Have you had a chance to try both? And what do you actually enjoy? Let us know in the comments down below. We have done more videos with Japanese people and foreigners here in Tokyo. If you'd like to see that, don't forget to push the subscribe button now. Punch and push it. Ha, huh, push it hard. And also, don't forget to tick on the notification bell if you want to find out once one of our videos comes out to you and you don't miss it. I hope you have a great day. Catch you soon with another video from Tokyo with Ask Japanese. Bye.